Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 90, the big 9 0 of Let's Play Spiderweb Software, Jeff Vogel's masterpiece, Queen's Wish the Conqueror. <clears throat> We're in the Vol Mountains. We've pretty much completed exploration, I think, of every area in pretty much the game. There may be like a small portion here or there maybe I haven't explored, but I think I've explored pretty much everything. Um, now, as I said, we're going to head to Merba and try to talk to Viscount Bridges. Um... about offerings. Viscount Bridges sits with you as soldiers bring the customary tea. She's not a chatter. She waits for you to ask something. The stalemate at Mecklen Quarry has been settled. Bridges nods. How? What should I report? The Owen are free. The Moss Cha left. That is the best result. Both sides will be happy. They will be happy with Merba, too, for making it happen. I'm grateful, Prince. Also, of course, the stone of the quarry is for Haven. I have another question. What is the status of Mirba? It is a harsh time, a harsh place. Oh. All right, so that knocks out yet another quest. Look at what we're down to here, guys. I don't really know where I'll find the unique crystals and stones of the wall. I think someone had some for sale, and I didn't have the money. Yeah, we're good. There's still a lot of game left, folks. We're going to be exploring Vol and all these places a lot more because there definitely are secrets out there. And I'm just wild enough to try to find them. You know what? It could even start in Mirba. Finding the right buildings to go into and trade. But I think this was a village. This was a person out in the wilds. A merchant's out in the wilds. Dorothy Lee. We already spent our time with Dorothy. Mirba Smithy, Boomer, Wall Shield and Fall Buckler. Okay, I'm interested in finding those rare merchants. And I probably couldn't tell you where any of them are off the top of my head because I simply don't remember. What did we ever do with the flint pit? It's producing resources. Alright, so we have to go to Thoblin Pass for Madraka. Ah, oh, we haven't been to a fort. Let's head to Fort West Bay. Head in. F3. Um, how much money do we have? 592. We could play. Oh, there's that necklace. Plus five to Ukatij, Vol, and Ariel with three slots. Very nice. We can play around here. Um, let's go ahead to the smith here. Let's see. got the ice strike helm you've got surgeons and crushing first of all we have to figure out who this is going to go to probably me as much as i want that shield ally we get plus two to shield ally with tyne's palisade all oh, allies next to the bearer right we were wondering about that so um Go ahead and pop the steel turn augment out of that. 
So let's go ahead and buy some augments. Oh wait, I have to do that at the black at the uh, alchemist, right? Here I wasn't worried about city planning, so I didn't really build this place correctly in terms of the most efficiency. Um, we'll get a haste for it. Haste, physical armor, and oh, I don't know. Lead poison resist. That always coming up. I was getting bleeded or well, mostly poisoned. But bleeding can do some damage too. Alright, so we've got Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, very good. This is going to be a major upgrade. Just feel it going on. Ah, major feels. Did anyone else need any? You have an empty slot, sir. You need plus four to magical damage, which you have. You have two plus fours. Mm, fair enough for me. Let's go ahead and pop out a few of these. Keep the haste augment. Let's get this healing bonus out. And let's get this blessing duration out. And let's put a surgeon's augment. And we can't put the rune in, right? Ugh, now we gotta run back and get another one. Surgeon's augment and um, physical armor. I think, right? Yeah, physical armor. She's going to need it. <sighs> Back down we go. So this is probably the most fun part of the game. I mean, the game is great. It's really to my liking. But um, some of the funnest part, or the most fun, is doing these... The runes, making upgrades, building in the forts. Just awesome, awesome stuff. But uh, you guys already know that. You've been watching the LP, possibly. Okay, we can go ahead and sell the uh, duration augment. 20% blessing duration. 8% healing bonus. Um... Who else needs augments? 8% healing bonus. Ten percent's better, but is it really worth a redo for it? And you need a rune in there. Let's go see if we can afford one more rune. Might as well get in the pression room. I don't think we're going to be fighting more Ukatish. In fact, I don't even know why I did that. But we have a Vol. We have an Ariel. Might as well grab an Ukatish. It's the most expensive. Maybe, like, we run into Ukatish. Um, I don't know. The Gandal clan more to come. I don't know. Wishful thinking, probably, but... Um, this helmet... We're gonna... Give to you, and you're gonna put it in the... Extra storage. Alright, that's good. So another... More upgrades being made. 
Time to head to uh, Thoblin Pass and destroy it so we can sign this treaty already. So we're allowed to go upstairs. Um, how do we get up there, though? Oh, down this way. Probably going to have to slaughter a lot. You ascend to the upper level of the pass. Your greeting is not friendly. The Vol soldiers look at each other, then at you. There's a lot of grumbling. It is ominous. Finally, one says, Please go downstairs, visitor. Past this point, we're instructed to consider you a saboteur and kill you. Please don't make us do that. Alright, we'll press F3 and just come down here. You look inside the oil jar, it's about half full. If all these oil jars blew up, it would be quite a disaster for this fortress. However, there's not enough oil here to start the sort of spectacular calamity you would need. Not in that one. Not in that one. You must go. So if I look at the journal... How am I supposed to get more oil? You'll progress farther than the Vol guards can tolerate. One of them finally panics. Invaders! Saboteurs! He shouts. As the alert is carried through the fortress, everything happens very quickly. The gate behind you slams shut. You hear shouting and running feet in all directions. The fortress is ready to defend itself. Okay. Uh, it's Whirlwind. Oh yeah, we got this. Well, I shouldn't speak too soon. We really don't know how tough they're going to be. This one seems a lot tougher than that one. Um, let's just... Get here. Okay, yeah. Not too shabby so far. Um, come up here and whirlwind. Nice. Get that bleeding going. I don't know if this is the way to... Oh, they trapped me up here. I don't know if this is the way to... um Blow up the fort or whatever. But... It's something, I guess. We can look for more oil while we're up here, I guess. then uh I guess that's one way to destroy the pass I don't know uh, you don't have magical evasion you actually you do some of these rooms. I'm not saving because I don't know what's in here. Fall Warblade. Nice. That's worth 300. 156 gold coins. Are they going to keep coming from behind? Leading two should die. Oh, you really gonna die. Life drain two. I don't want 
want this to be a constantly coming type thing. Commander Hasis and Vault Battle Mage. Okay, it's getting interesting. Um, let's go ahead and battle Frenzy. Casting Evasion. Alright, you walk four in and... Perfect for a poison rain. <laughs> Not bad. Sashel, you try to kill the priest? Nice. Rufus. Obviously come here and... Go to the archer. Lauren, um... Heck, do another poison rain. We got the speed. Matthew. Go ahead and kick it into high gear with a leaping attack. Uh, let's kill that fall battle mage. It did its own leaping attack. Ah. Um, let's try to stun Mr. Poison Flinger here. They're coming from behind. Still. Kill that archer, maybe? Uh. Um. Bleed him out a bit more. Faded. Um. Try to stun him again. That nice life drain going. We'll take care of this defender trying to sneak up on us. Another bleed. Whirlwind. Blessing and cured and hasted. Huh. Okay, he should bleed out. Oof. Step on here and whirlwind. Oh, evaded. Man, they keep coming from behind. <clears throat> Let's get another poison rain. Oh, wait, Matthew's in the middle of that. Yeah, let's not, but let's maybe come here and get a... Uh, can't get a decent shockwave. Just attack. Very nice. Commander Hasis. Now dead, Commander. I think these fall defenders are going to keep coming from behind. Oh, that guy did some damage. Dang, here they come. jar. There's not enough. There's not enough. There's not enough. Let's F3. There's not enough. There's not enough. Oops. There's not enough. Hmm. 
not going to let me go. We are doing a castle siege after all. Folded steel augment plus four physical armor. Sweet. 19 copper bits. F3. Let's see what's up here. Uh, looks like it would be a secret room, but it's just not. Fall controller. shot oh that's an enemy right there not a fifth companion um we gotta get a little serious about this one two three four five six yeah battle frenzy in their own dude. It's rough in war, I guess. Here in Whirlwind. Whirlwind again. Hopefully... You know, this is the end of the Vault Defenders, maybe, because we're not in that room anymore. We didn't go down, though. So we're going to have to backtrack a little bit. But I am going to come up here. Okay, there's steps down. Then I'm going to come down here. These wheels clearly control the gates underneath. However, there are several of them, and they interlock in complicated ways. You don't think you can figure out how to use them to open or close the gates, let alone sabotage them. Plus, even if you did sabotage the wheels, the vault could repair them quickly. You'll need to find a much more decisive way to sabotage the gates. However, there's not. However, there's not. Oh. You look in the oil jar, it's completely full. Oh, I accidentally clicked that. I didn't mean to. I almost clicked light the bomb. But I want to head back out here and go down below. Because I don't want to miss any goodies like the more folded steel augments. Ah. We'll just have to fight our way through. And then back again and then through. Team heal soon. Okay, just, let's just be decisive where we're going. send you guys up. Let's just kill him from here. And try to stun him so he stops 
Nice. Invading, you're just prolonging your death. Okay, I have a single hellhound. There is a treasure box in here. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I accidentally hit my keypad down here, and it's got a potion. So, very useful. Coming down here, some amber. Then we come over here. Got another treasure chest. This trunk is full of odds and ends, broken tools, bits of cloth, a few old dry bones for some reason, nothing of particular value. Among all the mess, you do find a few long strips of cloth. They might function as a fuse. You take them. <laughs> nice. Now we just gotta fight our way back. We've been everywhere up here. Um. Yeah, you use that evasion, buddy. Let's go light a fuse. I gotta hit my water bottle because I'm a little parched. There will be slaughter today. Not to brag, but we might be able to take their whole army. <laughs> Let's not find out, though. You jerk. Oh my gosh. They're actually doing damage. <sighs> if they didn't confuse herself. Confused. Oh boy. Okay, let's go through turn base mode and do this. Let's even go ahead and battle frenzy and stay in turn-based mode so we act more often. We did everything up here, right? Oh, we didn't go down the steps up there, but that's probably our escape route. Okay, can we F3 in combat? Can't quick save during combat. F3, F. <laughs> um, come down here. Wait your turn. Come down here. Can I interact with them? Need four points, okay. Um, come here and team heal. Um, okay. You look in the oil jar, it's completely full, so are its neighbors. If it exploded, the chain reaction might be strong enough to collapse the entire upper floor of this fortress and the gates underneath. Fortunately, the strips of cloth in your pack could be turned into a crude fuse. You could light them and maybe have enough time to escape this floor before all the exploding. Light a bomb. You dip one end of the cloth in the vat. You lay the rest of it along the floor. You light it. You will have some time before the explosion, hopefully enough to escape. You aren't sure. Your education didn't really cover this sort of thing. Oh, well, you light the fuse. Time to run. And Battle Mage Cregan. Um, I don't want to walk just two. I want to walk four. And attempt to stun him. Slowed and stunned and hit and bleeding. Slowed and stunned and hit and bleeding. Slowed and stunned and hit and bleeding. Leaping attack nearly kills the man. Um, walk four and attack. Yeah. Not a problem. Um, walk four. Attack. Oh no, confusion. 
infusion. Good radiance. Good. Good, good, good. Um, walk four and attack. Keep it in turn-based mode. Don't worry about them. Let's go ahead and battle haste again. Hopefully not wasting a turn. Need four action points. Try to press space to pause the game. Madness symbol, 20% mind resist, one to mind steal. Um, not all that great for us, admittedly. Silver bars and gold bars, though. Worth their weight in, well, silver and gold. Time is up. The oil jar explodes. This sets off the jars next to it. The combined blast sets off the jars down the hall. A wall of fire roars through the upper floor of the complex. The walls and ceilings shake. For a moment, you think it'll all collapse on you. Then things quiet down. It's scorching hot. Smoke and dust are everywhere, but you're alive. You hear the creak and wail of twisting metal. The enormous iron gates of Thoblin Pass break loose from the tracks and crash into the floor. The Owen, with your help, will be able to breach this fortification now. All right. While I'm here, let me F3. Huh, they all left. <laughs> Blade Master. Yoink. Seven copper bits, 24 silver coins. Let's see what else is around here. Shoot. Isn't there more? There was whatever was in this box. Two iron bars, very useful. Whatever's in here, which is nothing. We've been upstairs. Was there anything else upstairs? We can't go back up. Stairs are blocked by tons of rubble. You can't go upstairs anymore. Sick, 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 sick. We did it. We got some pretty cool loot. And uh, we're going to make a vassal out of the Owen yet. F3. Let's just go right down to Madraka. Sign this treaty. Who's this sitting here? Is that a person? No. It's a campfire. So it looks like the, the Vol are next to be vassalized. Well, you guys. Group of own refugees huddle it up at the base of the plateau. They are understandably worried when they see armed warriors approach. Hmm. Um, let's F3 and see how much time we've been playing. That only took about 20, 30 minutes. Um, okay. I always think there's a traitor there. Speaker Kanua. All right, let's get her done. Speaker Tarmana. Speaker Tarmana walks over to speak with you. The hall goes quiet. All eyes are on him. The rebels are coiled like springs, ready to object if anything about your negotiations isn't to their liking. The gates of Thoblin Pass have been destroyed. Now this gets everyone's attention. Speaker Tarmana looks at you and clears his throat a little. The rebels look at you with respect. No, fear. Tarmana suddenly looks like a peasant out of his depth. But we have heard rumors. What What did you do to the gates? I blew them up. I see. You snuck into the fortress. You fought the finest warriors of the Mastra. You defeated them and you destroyed the fortress? This is so. Haven is as mighty as we were told. You can save us. The other rebels nod. It is true. With you on our side, the Mastra will never hurt us again. We will be your vassals. As a token of our gratitude, you can have full access to this fortress. Let's sign a treaty. There's a long delay. 
while the Owen write and rewrite parts of the treaty. They are making changes and fixing typos with quill pens, even as it is carried over to your table. You look it over. For all the addenda and errata, it is more or less the same as your original treaty of vassalage with the Mostja. Sign the treaty. You sign the page. Several more copies are hastily made, and you sign them too. Tarmana isn't sure what to do. Someone whispers something in his ear. He slaps the table with his hand. I formally declare resolution of negotiation with the foreign power. The Owen cheer. Only one more small gesture is, gesture is required, Prince. In another thing. Go to the Vol gates. Tell your General Aquila what has happened here today. Send her into the Vol with our permission. It is time to win this war. The Owen cheer again, and the audience is over for today. So we have full access to this fort, which means... Huh, we can come back here. And see what's in this pot, essentially. Quicksilver. That's all that's back here in this private area that we can't go. Huh. All that for a pot. Well, let's come in here. There's no pots or anything. All right. Where we go? Um, the speaker Kanua. Whenever you're in this courtyard, Speaker Canoe is sure to lurk nearby. The moment you look like you have a question, he pounces forward to offer aid. I have seen the council. I'm glad. I'm still only a scribe. I can't speak for them. They would be mad if I tried to. You need to deal with them now. Tell me about the war. This is your great hope. Inevitable fate. Okay, full access to the fort, so let's uh, come over here and start throwing some weight around. Alua? How's the war going? I could probably get a tattoo now. Why I would want one, I don't know. Let me F3 here. Kippy is offended. Oh. I thought she'd even give me a tattoo. No, that'd be kind of ridiculous, wouldn't it? These Owen, like, were literal slaves. Or indentured servants, and I would get a tattoo. Just to show my, you know, brotherhood toward them, but no. Kind of ridiculous. Um, so like one of these buildings. Alina spends her time when she isn't talking to you, practicing her math and recounting her coins. She is doing her best, but the Masha didn't educate her with retail work in mind. Let me see your wares. Ah, forgive me, Havenite. I have had word from the main council hall. Oh? Dang, he said full access. I guess I have to go and talk to General Aquila. And then come back here. Uh, world map. Fall gates. New report. No risk of theft anywhere. Now we just sit back and let it all come in. Except the iron. We need more iron somehow. One more iron would be fine. General Aquila sits at her desk, which has been carried out here and set on the gravel. It is covered with maps and scrolls. The general and her work bake in the sun. Ready to give you your orders. General Aquila grins, eager with anticipation. The treaty is in place. The defenses of the unfortunate side have been reduced. Then we have action at last. This laziness has been slowly corrupting us. We are ready to end this war, and I'm sure the people of the Vol are too. Where do I send your warriors? Launch an assault on Thoblin. Help the Owen win their freedom. It will be done. The Owen will be free. My experience tells me there will be a time of great chaos in the Vol. 
The Owen will have a lot of grudges. A lot of reprisals will happen. We will try to keep the robbery low, but a lot of our supplies will be lost. Also, they are sure to pay us less tribute. For now, however, we will get to work. You have done your mother proud. I will let her know that the Vol is our vassal again at last. You suddenly shudder. You have felt a strange surge of magic. It only lasted for a moment, and then it was gone. Strange. Hmm. The camp is bursting to life. Soldiers are packing up their gear and chatting with excitement. Cody is digging into supplies. General Aquila is barking orders. Soon, small groups of Haven's finest soldiers will enter the vault, ready to train and support your chosen side. You have laid the groundwork. Now they will win the war. Um. Okay. No hot tips for me. Okay. Um. And that is that. We ever claim the the um the vol. Let's go ahead and use our powers to go to Madraka. There's a group of Owen refugees huddled. Well, we saw that. Then they realize who you are and what you've done for the Owen. They wave and cheer as you pass. Huh. Now that you are helping the Owen, they don't see you as a threat. They wave and nod as you pass. You're on the same side now, after all. Cool. Now can we see what goods... When you step through the gates, the Owen see you. They all drop what they're doing, then they point at you and cheer. The South Battalion has entered the Vol. The Owen now have a mighty ally in their rebellion. You look out on a sea of faces, enjoying their first brief glimmers of hope. Aww. Lena, see your wares. Aha! Dang, and it's all for naught except the folded steel augment. This stuff would have been great had I come here earlier. But we'll take the folded steel augment, another one for sure. So we very much made out very nicely. Um, maybe something for you to check. No, not with that ore, but with the helmet. No, not quite as good as steel plate helm. Alright, cool. Can I walk back here and just take that? I can. This fort is mine now. Ha 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 ha. Round of drinks, please. A wise choice. We hold, we stole a whole wagon of decent ale from a Masha caravan. She pours out some, some for you. It has been watered down a lot, but it's fine. That's all I need. We'll toss knots, then she walks off to find food for another band of hungry warriors. Um, Nothing in here. Nobody else in here. I guess that's it, then. We have the full fort. Um, there's really not much else. Uh, now, would she let me get a tattoo? I'm just curious, because there has to be a reason for her there. Alua. I would still be surprised if she can. No. She's just here for purposes like to um educate on the Owen. Alrighty. Go to Captain and Nitty. See if there's anything in here we want to grab. <clears throat> anything else I can do for you? Yes, you can deal with the council. Already did, hun. Already did. Come in and take this. 
Uh. We'll grab the vault chainmail. It's sellable. Oh, there's another one. Healing potion, another one? Let's go ahead and pop down a, that for it. Iron bar and quicksilver. Oh my gosh. Another freaking healing potion. Wow, we really made out. I mean, amazing. But yeah, we are at end game, so some of these rewards are going to be a little long in the tooth already because we should have really done this a lot earlier. Um, but it's all good. Uh, I am going to return home to Haven. I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope you're enjoying Let's Play. hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I want to go to a fen and do some dreaming, too. We'll do that next time, too. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your viewership. I feel this was a great episode 90 because of just what we did in it. And the stuff, you know, that we accomplished. So, cheers. Will this go 100 episodes? Who knows? But stay tuned. Some more to come. For sure. <laughs> Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Take care.